Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again. Unfortunately, still the streak is low, but that is a good sign that the, that the series is difficult. It's a good sign and we get a Tainted Maggie run as well. I do love a bit of Tainted Maggie. We've actually done a lot as hell already. Um, I'm kind of tempted. I, do you know, greedier runs are just my jam right now. I'm loving them. I, I hope that people are enjoying watching them. I'll do a hard mode run for now just because I don't want to do too much greedy if people aren't enjoying it. But please do let me know if you are because I'm thoroughly enjoying it right now. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I haven't played greedier in such a long time that it's kind of feeling more fresh. And obviously with the mods that I'm using, um, it's something that just kind of feels right. I, I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, for the question of the day, just kind of on the tangent of that, what's your favourite weird game mode? What's your favourite sort of off-game mode that you kind of wish more games had? And I've got two, and one of them is a is an oldie but a goodie, um, and it's kind of become more popular now just because of a certain sussy game, but... I really like the idea of Trouble in Terrorist Town, and before you ask, I actually am not a big fan. Holy shit, what on earth is going on in this room? Um, okay, let's check what's in here first. Scorpio is pretty nice. Okay, let me let me have some time to process this. Let me go back in here. Okay, this is yeah, this is nutty. This is nutty. Okay, so let's let's pick up what we want. I want the keys. I want one, two, three of the bombs. The card is the fool. I think I take the double bomb and we suck the rest up and hope for a good item. Hope for a good item. It's sucking up a trinket as well, so could be pretty good. That's really good. Uh, and also chance of firing a piercing boomerang tier. I will take that. Although, increased chance for Tinted Rocks to appear. I think I'm actually more on board with that than anything else. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Poison Tears and Muramycosis, two items that I think work together really well. But yeah, I actually wasn't a big fan of Among Us, even though a lot of people will probably say that Among Us is just like standalone Trouble in Terrorist Town in a way. But I, I don't know. I feel like, for one, Trouble in Terrorist Town just holds a special place because it was based in Gary's mod, which I, I just love Gary's mod. Ooh, creatine powder is also incredible here. Um, but also, I think another thing for me is just that I... It, it had so much more flavor to it. For one, it had just a ton more maps, which I loved. But also, like, in Among Us, it's just kind of like, complete a few tasks, here you go, here do. Whereas, I just loved the, the way Trouble in Terrorist Town worked, where you, like, voice chat to everyone. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. we are getting some good luck today. Good luck today, holy hell. Uh, yeah, and it just, I don't know. I, I really like the idea of having the inspector and stuff and be able to like buy different gadgets and guns and all sorts. Oh my God, the luck just keeps rolling in. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Um, I'm gonna wait on my golden heart before I uh, do anything with that. But this is, this is just pretty nutty. This is just pretty nutty. We got two golden pennies. What is this look, people? What is this look? Watch this secret room have like rock bottom in it or like R key or death certificate or something crazy. Just based on how just outstandingly lucky this run has been so far. It's it's actually insane. Do you know what? I'm gonna turn my fan off. It feels like it's a bit loud. Do you know what? I'm just gonna turn it down. It feels like it might be a bit loud for you guys. I hope it's not. But unfortunately, it's just very warm right now. Do you know what? It's not what I thought it was going to be, but it is still very, very good. It is still very, very good. Because that one, we just got some burn fragments. And this one, we got items. And one of the items is Berserk, which is a fantastic item for us. My goodness. Gracious, what is going on in here? I, I kind of have to go to like all my care rooms and stuff now, just to see. That wasn't so lucky. That wasn't so lucky. This could be... Ah, it's just LSD. We did get another golden key, though. 
Yeah, this has been nutty. And yeah, Berserk is a very good trinket, uh, trinket space bar item for us, I'm pretty sure. Also, double tinted rocks in this room. Don't mind if I diggity do. I've only got one soul heart of two of those, though. Which is kind of funny. The LSD do be a rockin' right now. I have to say it's a little weird, but I like it. Almond milk is unfortunately not takeable. I actually really do love almond milk. I think it's fantastic. But not only does it make Berserk, like, a lot worse, but it also um, makes our hugs a lot worse. My god, another two tinted rocks? Are you kidding me? This guy was eternal, apparently, at one point in his life. Now he's Rainbow Confetti. I'm gonna go Angel Deal here as well. We got a Zealot Heart, awesome. I will take some time to do some due diligence around here and try and get my uh, second secret room, wherever that might be. There it is. Got some glitch pickups here. Hang Hangman's kind of good to grab. And I think we I think we're good to go now. Yeah, Zealot Heart, one of the new hearts we've unlocked. Um We haven't done Mother yet. I think Mother's the way to go here. This is just such a good run. Um Yeah, and I, I can't remember what I was saying now, but I'm I'm just in awe of the, the goodness that is this run. It's beautiful. In every single way. We're keeping so much power up on Berserk as well, it's nutty. Damn it, he's losing so much power for us. You little bastard, that was evil. I only got one Zealot Heart proc here. I mean, I could try for, for more here, but this guy is kind of tricky. I don't know though, if we do the double bomb situation. Ah, oh, it didn't quite work. The double bomb sitch can be a really powerful tactic, but doesn't always work. I don't know how we didn't get hit there, by the way. Don't ask me, because I have no idea. Oh, you destroyed my wisp. Okay, there you go. I'm trying to keep my zealot heart alive for some amount of time. No angel deal, unfortunately, yet. We've got so much money, though, that we can check this out. And... Eh, brings pickups lying on the floor to their lesser forms. I don't really think we need to do anything with that. Second secret room could be here. It indeed is. It's one of you. I will pay, pay you a little, a little bit of money. I just want one. All I want is one. Grab that real quick. Yeah, this has been a hell of a run to start off. I kind of love the fact that we can pick up the hearts by smacking. Oh, we lost our Zella heart. That's fine. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know what? It's, it's another item. I will not say no. I will not say no. I just want my item room now. Lost Soul, while pretty terrible, definitely better than 10 times bombs. I'm happy I took it. Guppy. A single penny, not so great. Right, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, skedoodle. And secret room could be here. There you go. Another single red chest. Not so good. Right, be on our way. Oh, I'll do my knife piece as well. Ooh, damn. What the hell? That does not look good. Uh, anti birth item pack is having some issues. Ooh, heck. Um, give knife piece one. As I said, I'm just going to skip the knife pieces. It's... It's fun and games, but it just takes too long. <laughs> Don't judge me. 
I realize the first one is a bit more acceptable to do because it has more risks. By the way, I do realize that I didn't go through the uh, the mines door there. That was semi-intentional on a mortal heart, which I don't think will last as long. I do ca actually. I don't know. I, I might. I might try and actually keep that alive. It might require me using Berserk, though. I feel like my ghost is going to die imminently here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and maybe use Berserk to uh, to keep my Eternal Heart alive here. Just because it's actually kind of valuable. Having more Red Hearts as Maggie is truly, truly quite useful. Good, good. And, I don't know, the... Uh, the Berserk charges reasonably quickly. But yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I talked about Trouble in Terrorist Town. That was just bad. Um, yeah, I talked about Trouble in Terrorist Town. But another one was, uh, I watched a video recently on, oh, I lost my boy. On um, Sniper Elite 5's Invasions mode, which looks awesome. I wish more games did stuff like that. If you haven't seen it, Jack Frags just put out a video about it like yesterday. And basically what it is, is while playing story, you can turn on invasions and it'll let people in multiplayer come into your um, into your game and basically pretend to be an AI and try and kill you and like reset your story mission. And while I can see for some people they wouldn't want that enabled and that's why it's a choice to enable it or not, I think it's such a cool idea to be able to have this thing where people can just like come into your game and hunt you down. It kind of adds like a scary sort of horror element to story games that maybe shouldn't have them. Um, and I, I don't know, that just sounds really fun to me. Uh, it's like, I kind of want to buy the game just to play with the invasions on and like do some invasions myself. I don't know what people would, uh, I don't know if, how many people would want to do that, but I think it sounds like a lot of fun. Dude, don't dive away from me, please. Yeah, we got this mostly full. Just keeping it alive. I like the fact that it still sticks um, more of my cursor shots onto, onto you. Boom. Free charge up as well. We got our angel deal too and some damage. Last rags. Why? Why gotta be this way, last rags? Right, let's bomb this door before I forget. Let's go to my item room and shop. Also in here. Um, ooh, Sexton. Entering a new room has a chance to reveal more um, that are currently nearby. Shows the location of the false planetarium if there is one. Can reveal... Do well, you know what? I don't know if it, the gold version actually does anything. But it sounds kind of interesting. Guillotine's actually good as Maggie. Because it gives us a damage up and acts as an orbital. So... For once, I actually like having guillotine here. Of course, not always my item of choice, but... But yeah, imagine like playing Isaac and an enemy... You, you don't even know that an enemy has invaded your game as one of the AI. And you just have to deal with it. Eventually, one of the enemies is just like hauling at you from room to room, like chasing you down. And you have to like suss out which one's not... Which one's the real player. It just, it just seems like a really fun concept. Um, secret rooms. We should probably try and look for them. Do, 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 do. I think I've got Cast of the Maze here. No, I don't. I don't know what's going on then. That's that one at least. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, now I can give me the sextant there and I can go back and take Geode. Nice. I've got that one smelted now. Okay, so I can gr go back and grab the geode, but before we do that, let's quickly just uh, find the second secret room, because it is almost definitely here. There you go. I, say that, I knew that room seemed a bit too sus. Ooh, there you go. You get that anyways, that's nice. Good stuff. Right, don't forget to go down to the mines here. Do not forgetty spaghetti. Don't forget to grab geode as well. Unless anything else would be good. 50% chance to act... Ooh, no, that's actually kind of better. 50% chance to activate Lemon Mishap on taking damage. That could be pretty potent. That could potentially be pretty potent. Now, our Zealot Heart and our, um... 
our immortal heart really aren't going to do too much to help us out here, but hey her. We'll pretend they are. Cool. I don't know what item we've got as our uh, orbital here. Nice amount of red hearts in turn. There it is. Obviously, the lower mishap circles are really not that big, but I still think it's a, it's a nice little activation effect. Lower mishap does do a good amount of damage. Okay. Um, I kind of want to play this dude. I don't want to play him, like, too much. Yeah, I'll take it. Please don't give me a damage down. Ah, damage up. Nice. Uh, we did lose a bit of speed in that, so that's not great, but... Otherwise, pretty decent. We we gained HP as well, actually. Yeah, there's just going to be less, less, less mishap puddles all over. Oh, my ghost boy. I, I kind of forgot he existed, I'll be honest. I'm sorry. Um, Get a charge on our axe of each time we use things. Grab a soul heart, because why not? And temperance. Yeah, why not? Ones make you smaller. Perks. LSD, Pretty Fly, and Retrovision. Not that bad. The LSD is kind of annoying, but otherwise not that bad. The consumables from that first room are just carrying us right now. Also, I'm doing a very good job of finding machines. Machines? Secret rooms. You know what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, I think Invasions is a really cool, uh, cool idea that multiple more games could really take advantage of and take into account as, a, as an interesting idea. The only problem with it is really if you have the option to turn off invasions, so many players will opt out of it, which is fine because I get that people want to play the story and not have the chance to die by a player that might be much better than themselves, especially new players. But at the same time, it's like, just kind of ruin the fun of them a little bit. Ooh, we got a dice shard here. That's nice. Could be kind of useful. Blasting bombs. I don't think blasting bombs is really what we want. Let's use the dice shot. Actually, no, we'll save it. We'll save it. We'll just take whatever this item is for now. Uh, decap attack, unfortunately. Not so good. Two different heads, but one of them is mightier than the other. A little bit of a shame. Probably would have been better to just take the blasting bombs, but... Hey, her. There you go. We do have an eternal heart here, so don't with that. No, I whiffed the eternal heart. I got hit by him exploding. I got a HP up anyways. It's fine. Um, No thank you on either of these. I don't think. Good. Things are still going well. Plenty of money. Oh, we need to give ourselves the next knife piece as well. I forgot about that. There you go. People can be mad about that all they want, but... Big bad, too sad. Yeah, our ghost is not long for this world. I was basically hoping for a single item from him, that's it. Ooh, now this I'm interested in. I mean, I would have been interested in it if it decided to pay out even a single time. You biatch. What's wrong with you? Oh, fuck you. I'm bombing you. I don't care about my future money. You can you can bugger off. Spent all my money on you. Literally 45 cent and you're like, nah. Sorry, pal. It ain't it, chief, apparently. Need to be a bit careful about our HP, but doesn't matter. We've got the healing. Let me miss out to going out. 
I just, this is one of the reasons I love Maggie. Turns items that are absolute ass normally into actually potentially interesting items. I see you there, broken Dominic. Torn card. Ooh, torn card. Do you... I do love you. I do love you, torn card, but I don't think it's your time to shine. I'm getting hit an awful lot here. Not good. Crack this open. Give me a sack of pennies. There you go. You gave me a sack of pennies, you beautiful bastard. And it was a great payout, too. I realize some of you might be going, oh, well, you could have got some Meat Boy fan now. No, that item isn't worth my time anymore. It pissed me off enough. God, I hate this room. Why are people like this? Just make rooms normally. Why do I have to go back and forth six times? And of course, I have to go the wrong way multiple times here as well. What well, I'm literally annoyed about playing Maggie is it said there was a heart in this room on the minimap, but there wasn't. It just lied to me. Cloak Baby. Cloak Baby's kind of interesting. Oh god, he's got me captured. Okay, there we got Golden Bombs. We're kind of shredding through the game right now, and I love it. Shredding through the game. And we've not gotten any crazy tear effects either, so... It's not like the game's lagging like absolute balls either, which is a nice change. Do you have to remember, melee is less viable after this floor. That's pretty useful, I guess. See, we've had so much money for this room. Um, I guess that's good. Nightlight is not useful for us. This is good. This is good. <gasps> Did I just accidentally spend that money? I need Nun's Habit. Give me one more penny, please, from somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. That's kind of what I was hoping to get, and I just didn't see it for a moment. Okay, and then we bomb this and see what we get. Stopwatch. Good stuff. Okay, we put ourselves in a good position here, I think. Nun's habit is pretty awesome. Justice. That's pretty nice. Hero font's kind of nice too. And then we can get out of here. Ooh, it's a um, green horn fell. Interesting. Kind of a difficult horn fell, apparently. Nice. Only the box, though, is a consolation prize. Angel deal-wise, we've not been doing so hot. Right, down we go. Yeah, angel deal-wise, we've not really gotten much. Then we've got Laz Rags, and that's it, right? Unless I'm forgetting something, but I feel like I am. Okay, good. Now we can get hit to our fullest of potential now. We've always got healing. I mean, it also means, I think, that we get more charge on our spacebar item too, which is always nice. 
Grab you. Stop. Don't hit me. It's rude. Apparently we found our secret room here but never entered it. I don't know how I did that, but there you go. We got a question mark card, which I don't think is super useful to us or relevant, to be honest. Oh, we do have a thingy room here. Just to make sure it doesn't crash our game. I keep doing this, but I have to be safe now. See what uh, mirrored item it gives us. We don't know. Oh, it just gives the Steam Sale one. Okay. I get that one kind of regularly. That's the, that's the main one that I've seen. It seems to be the worst one of the lot. It's only really useful if you have no money, which actually we don't have any money right now, so it might end up being more useful this time than it has been in the past. We'll see. This is slightly annoying. We got through it. Hey, Explorer's Instinct, good. I will check out my shop just in case. I doubt it's going to hold too much for me. Store credits in here and there's no items to s for sale. Good. Exactly what I was hoping for. And there's a bunch of money there. Good. Well, Alexa, baby, you've not really done much for me so far. Can you uh, help out, bud? I'm not sure if you can, but it'd be nice. Right, let's pop down here. Yeah, I'm just going to bomb this. <laughs> I'm not doing the dance around. This guy's a free player. And we get our Babylon out of it, which is literally useless. Hey, we got it anyways! It came back. It came back. How exactly do we get over there? Wait, what? I'm confused. Is there a way to get... Wait a minute. Ah, oh, there you go. Just because... I want to grab this just because we have a legitimate way to use it. Which actually... No, no, no. I've, I've already seen the one on this floor. I'm going to go for it. Give me sacred heart. Give me sacred heart. You know how I like it. I'm trying to think of other items that'd be really good. And we get ourselves. I mean, red lockbox is kind of good, but not in that situation. It'll give you four to six soul hearts. It's it's, it's like a good boost early on. But otherwise, it's not so good. But we are at full health now, which kind of helps. One minute miss happen. Bunch of rotten hearts for me here, I guess. Which isn't a great thing, I'll be honest. We still don't really have good fire rate or anything either here. Angel deal. Huzzah. Bunch of mini Maggies too. We don't know what we're getting. Um, I don't remember what this does. Okay, it's just laser beams. Just laser beams. I kind of want to get hit here. I want to get rid of these rotten hearts. They're actually really bad for us. I'm somehow not getting hit, and I am perplexed as to how. But I won't complain. This didn't go great. I think it's just because of my pretty flies, you know. My pretty flies are carrying. Okay, it kind of worked. It kind of worked. Right, down we go. Oh, I missed out on that red hat. Okay, this is where things get a little more complicated. We're going to have to play a little bit more conservatively. 
We can't just rush into everything. I'm wondering how powerful these laser beams are. I will say that our space bar item does make things a little easier. Because we still get to rush around with that and not be head first. And we still get to pick up all the HP and stuff. Which is rather nice. Oh shit. Didn't see you all over there. Double wrong way. Oh my god, there's so many hearts about. I don't even know how to deal with this anymore. What is it that's triggering my shots sometimes? Is that just the swing that does that? I don't know. Berserk lasted so long then. We got this if we need it. But it effectively gives us a lot more health than we actually have. Oh wait, is that explosive M80? Explosive M80 is real good for us. 50% chance to explode upon taking damage. That's much better than Lemon Mishap, especially for the boss that flies. That's going to be a lot more potential damage out, but... It's okay, don't worry about these fellas. Care. Another zealot heart. Not all that useful of a zealot. Like I said, zealot hearts in this character just aren't that useful anyways. But we'll keep them. I'll be I'll be excited about it. It's just it's something new for us at least. Oh yes, explosive M80 is beautiful. Come on, guys. Die. These, uh, these light shots are doing pretty well, too, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had explosive M80 in a run where it works. It's kind of crazy. Okay, yeah, good. Nice amount of Murray Mycosa shots. I don't know what the eternal version of this guy does, but either way, he's going to die to my explosions. Yeah, the explosions are insane. Okay. Okay. Don't want to be as this version right now, because that doesn't do much for us. Just let the light beams do their thing. Kind of works out. Oof, do not take Foul Gut. Foul Gut would just give us a ton of rotten hearts and lead to a swift death, I think. Good. Yum Heart Proc. Yeah, don't, don't jump at me because I will explode on you and... Apparently the explosions also kill the little guy, but that's, that's fair. Didn't expect him to be able to survive too many explosions, to be honest. I, I, it is funny how this character is, like, so fun, but is so overpowered and basically boils down to, like, a few items to make her absolutely busted. We've also got Kettle Heart and spawns a Blood Clot and Pico. Nice. Again, a little strong, but awesome. I basically say that about all the Tainted Hearts. They're usually on the stronger side, but they're definitely fun. I love the sound of all these lights hitting. Just so satisfying. Right, I don't know which way I'm going now, so this is just random pot shots for me. Oh, this room's not over. These things are so invisible. They're so hard to see. Right, let's do a let's do a berserk charge. Right, I will grab this as well in case we get a cracked key. Just because we will get Explorer's Instinct any moment. 
Texan has revealed the secret rooms for us here, nice. Yeah, nice. Come on, how's this floor not over yet? Damn, three hits in a row and not a single explosion. There we go, we got it. Oh, it's all the way to the other side, are you kidding me? Do you know what, quickly, quickly, quickly. Don't die, don't die, don't die. There you go. Having that room full of enemies allows me to get back to full health. So now I can go back over here. I needed a room to make sure I can get back to full health before the fight. Also, we can go back to the secret rooms here. Rotten hearts, no thank you. Beautiful. And we got something good, we got the marks. Definitely take that. More damage for me, please. Right, now we can be on our way back. And we've got really good speed now too, which is nice. Quickly check this out too. That's beautiful. That's super useful. What? All, all of the hearts spawn in here are eternal hearts. That's, that's wacky. I did not know that. That's wacky. Like, I know that if you spawn other hearts in there via cards and stuff, through eternal hearts, but I didn't realize that every single heart spawned in there by any means would be. Oh my god, that was beautiful. There's another eternal heart. Full red hearts just before the fight. Boy, oy, oy, that's perfect. That is perfection itself. My goodness. Right, yum heart there. In we go. Try and grab the hearts when we can, but we don't need them particularly. Can't knock those shots away, I did not realise that. Nice. You have to be a little bit careful here. Just because I can explode on hit doesn't mean I should. Good. About to get some more healing here. Goddamn bombs against bosses are so effective. There you go. That was a cracking win there. Cracking win. Very fun. And a very lucky run as well. Lots of luck going on there. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.